Hello and welcome back to GTA 5 uh, to test out another brand new vehicle. So uh, you might remember a couple of days ago we tested out this go-kart um, which was free um, but there is now another car that is available for free um, from the Southern San Andreas Super Autos. So if we sort by price again, we've well, probably already seen it, um, the Grotti Brioso 300. So basically the classic Fiat 500 is now available as well. Um, so I don't think the cart is available for free anymore, so if you haven't picked that up, I'm afraid you have missed that now. Um, there are obviously your usual free vehicles. Um, but yeah, Fiat 500 is now available for free, so I think we'll probably order it in red to start with. Obviously we will be taking it, um, we'll, we'll order it here to this garage, because um, there's actually space here, there isn't at my apartment one. Um, so we'll get a notification when it's delivered. Yeah, obviously we'll go and customise it when it arrives. Um, but yeah, if you want to pick one up, that's where you can get it from. And yeah, I've, I'm going to bring it to this garage. We've got this nice space here. And it can sit alongside my classic Mini, or the Weenie, <laughs> as it's called in GTA. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Obviously here is the free go-kart we tested out the other day. Um, but yeah, it'll be fun to test out another tiny little classic car. Uh, and it's always fun going and customising stuff, so... As soon as it's arrived, um, I will jump in it and head over to the custom shop. So here it is, our Fiat 500 has arrived in the garage. Tiny little thing, obviously. Uh, love it, and red with the red interior, that actually looks really cool. Um, and really cool little thing next to the Mini. It does look a little bit bi big. Um, I think they probably are slightly bigger than Minis, but... Yeah, still tiny little thing. Okay, so let's jump in, drive it on over to uh, the custom shop. Now, we are playing this near Christmas, so when we drive this thing out, you will notice the snow. Alright, anyway, I think I know the map well enough to know how to get to the custom shop uh, over here. Uh, yeah, the other cool thing in winter on GTA is you can throw snowballs. Anyway, here we are. Obviously this thing not massively fast standard. I mean, what would you expect? It's a Fiat 500. Um, but yeah, basically... Okay, not that. How did I pick them up? There was a way... There we go. Then if we aim, we can... throw a snowball at that car over there. I don't know if they actually cause damage to people. Um, but anyway, right, let's carry on with what we're supposed to be doing, which is, I don't know if it actually makes it less grip, I was driving the weenie a minute ago and it kind of felt a bit more slidey, I don't know if that's just because I've not played this for a little while, um, somehow we've already broken a headlight, right, okay, so if we start with bodywork, remove reflectors, Remove reflectors and trim. Uh, do we want to leave the chrome trim on? You know what, it kind of looks cleaner without. We'll take that off. Upgrade. Okay, maybe we'll leave. I'll do visual parts first, and then if we've got money left, we'll do the upgrades. Okay, so we can have the standard bumper. We can remove the bumper, which is kind of cool. Or we can have like the more Euro spec bumper. This is kind of like the American one, usually the slightly bigger ones. So we'll go with that one. And we'll go with matching on the back. I just slightly prefer those slightly plainer looking ones. Um, we'll leave that alone. Exhaust. Twin exhaust or chrome exhaust. I quite like the single, but slightly bigger one. Uh, fenders. Okay, so we can put plastic arches on or carbon arches. I think I'm going to leave those, I don't actually really want to do that. Oh yeah, hood of course is actually the back. So we've got rack, rack with case, or, or we've got like the, a bath style. Oh, that's cool actually. It's a shame I have some of these locked. I'd probably have gone for that, that is cool. Oh, I don't know what to go for. Do we go for that or do we try and make it like a, an a bath? Oh, I don't know. I really like the case, actually. I mean, we can see the engine. I'm going to go with that, just because we can see the engine. 
Uh, lights, there's not much point doing. Right. Livery. We will go and change the colour in a minute. So, we can have black stripes, white stripes, grotty stripes. Oh, they're cool. Arrow gasoline. Grotty racing, tyres, pole position, atomic tyres. I kind of like that. Oh, has that got the, like, checkered... Yes, that is cool. I quite like that. So I think if I'm going with the racing one, I'd go with that. Oh, hang on, what's the one that was... I mean, that's also got the... Cool roof decal. So I quite like just the classic... Like, stripes down the side. So it's that or atomic tyres, I think, are the two that I'm... I think I'm going to go with that, slightly more plain looking. Uh, and yellow on black plate I usually go with. Okay, we'll get to respray in a minute. So we can go full painted roof, get rid of the like opening bit. Top down. Oh, that's cool. Primary roof or... I feel like if we're going with a racing one, we probably want the, the roof on. I feel like we should either have gone top down with the case or roof on with the back open because it's not a you know what that's just cool i'm gonna do it it's a little bit mismatched with the kind of racing look i might change the bit of the back for the suitcase make it more of a road spec car okay what so we've got sun strips do we want that I think if we go secondary, then it'll kind of... That's the lowest suspension we can get. Secondary or carbon. Secondary might be cool. Oh yes, and the wheels. We've got classic. These are more classic than a lot of the wheels, though. low rider style ones. Yeah, something like that. I quite like on here. Uh, something in here that's more classic. Yeah, I've got the classic rod ones in here as well. What's in street? Have we got anything classic in here? Oh yes, okay, we've got retro steel wheels. I actually quite like the concave steelies. Oh, okay, these are expensive. Okay, we'll leave the wheels alone. Tires, tire design, can we get Oh no, you have to. Do you have to upgrade the tyres? No, 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 no! Don't do that. I don't want to buy. Okay, they're too. Exp okay, so we can't do the tyres either because I've run myself out of money. Right, windows. We'll leave those alone. Smoked windows looks weird on this. Okay, I think all that's left is the paint. If we're not going to do any upgrades, so primary colour. I'm thinking metallic purple, but we'll see, because actually, white, I think that might be quite cool. If we go with, was it, surf blue is probably the lightest we've got. Then again with secondary, if we do that, but with a... Actually, even with graphite, it makes it a sort of bluey colour. But I think... That's actually quite cool. The white and blue I do kind of like, but I think... What I was thinking was... Was 
Is it dark blue? I feel like maybe I've done these the wrong way round. The darker colour should probably be on the bottom. Yeah, I'll go the midnight. I like that. Yeah, then the question is, do we want to either put the roof full painted, or do I want to put the... I guess it's hood, isn't it? There's a so we've kind of gone with the street spec rather than the racing spec. So I feel like that kind of fits. Uh, fits the rest a little bit better. Um, mm, maybe top down in the snow wasn't such a good plan. But yeah, I think that's kind of cool. We've gone with the sort of street spec one. Because I haven't got any upgrades on it either, so... Putting all the race parts on didn't really make much sense. I think that's a cool little thing. Um, but yeah, you could also go, well, as you saw with, like, the full... The other way I'd have gone is with the full racing livery, the number 44 one at the bottom. With painted roof and open engine bay. That with some upgrades, uh, and, like, racing wheels and stuff, could be another way to go with this. But yeah, the mini we've got as well is kind of street spec, so these will probably be quite a cool pair. But yeah, really cool little thing, really pleased I've got it, and... Yeah, it is good to get some free cars here on GTA because the prices are quite ridiculous on a lot of the new vehicles. Um, which, yeah, is why I'm not testing out some of the supercars and stuff. I just simply don't have the money for those on here. Um, but yeah, really love this little thing. I do love tiny little cars like this. And yeah, we've got quite a few of this sort of thing in this garage. We've got obviously the little the weenie next to it, the mini. Um, but we've also got the beach buggy, which is kind of cool. We've got our aerial nomad and obviously our cart. So this is where these sort of fun little cars end up in this garage. Um, but yeah, I think they look quite cool together. The, the weenie and the grotty whatever it was called. Quite a cool little pair. So we've got the bright yellow and then the, the nice pale blue. Um, quite a good combination. But yeah, I, I do love both of these. Again with the Mini, we've gone with a sort of sporty spec, but it's still definitely a road vehicle. Same with the Fiat, not gone completely race car, but yeah. I do really like both of these, and like I say, if you haven't already got it, I really think you should. Um, but yeah, that probably is going to do it for today's, well, for the early video today. There will be another one up later, um, at the usual 8pm 8, 8 time. Um, but yeah, really cool little thing um, we've tested out today. But yeah, that is going to be all for this video, so thank you very much for watching. And I will be back with the next video very soon.